Hello everyone, Creeperwar here. Welcome to episode 20 of my beginner guide. And today we are going to do some work here on Act 2 uh, 3. We are gonna go for Lunar's Temple, and if we I get the time and it not take too much time, we are going to ascend. But right now, let's continue. At least we're gonna try to ascend. Read a few. And this character is starting to getting powerful now. <laughs> By the way, one of the comments asked me that I didn't do a self-find character, and that is actually correct. I said I'm gonna use things I only find this character, but I never said I'm not gonna trade. I'm gonna use currency for trading I find in this character. That's what I mean with that. Just to clarify, but you're correct, I didn't do self-find, but I said I'm gonna use item in this character. I never said I just, uh, I'm not gonna trade. But anyway. I thank him for the comment anyway. He, he is welcome. <clears throat> and by the way, the closed beta is actually getting closer now. But I am myself not sure still if I'm gonna play it or not. I guess I actually just going to continue uh, well playing the things I have. and. Uh, but I'm looking really, really forward to Act 10 and all of those acts and uh, remake some of my old characters. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the first character I'm going to remake are my, well, Crit Blade Fairy build because I just love that build. And it's going to be just as powerful in new update. Hit. Maybe I actually can get it more powerful, I will see. But in the, uh, when the new update comes out, I'm going to take a break from uh, playing leads because I have, for the last, like, two years now, pretty much exclusively just play the league, and it's time to take a break and play some of the old characters I have. So, maybe no more league for me in a while. Or, well, maybe I do it because if they are really nice, uh, like microsects you can get by doing it, like, on the challenge, I may do it, but I actually think I'm going to play a lot more standard this time around. A little bit more relaxed. But anyway, let's stop talking about that and let's actually talk about what I'm doing. So we have got the things we need. Uh, I don't care about the waypoint here. I'm not going to come back here anytime soon, so I don't want to take it. I'm going to go to Battlefront and go for Solaris because I want to do this fast because I want to try to ascend. I don't know if I will be able to do the ascension because I haven't, haven't as you can see, maxed out resistance yet. And I may should actually trade for a better ring at least. At least some upgrades. And I will see. No, not level did I have. No, I got level. It's a little bit decent right there. And it's one thing that are really, really satisfying when you're attacking something. They just explode. Ooh. This chest. Any more enemies? Oh, there we one. They didn't drop anything good. Uh, I love whirling blades. Like, they're like the perfect movement skill. And then they're like, yes, perfect to get out of bad situations when you're about to die because of uh, hard attacks and something like that. It's good against bosses if you need to get away from the boss for some reason. Anyway, I think I'm gonna cut here. So the video really not get too long. Then I'm going to uh, get to the Rala and uh, handle the quest, and then we're gonna go for the Lunaris Temple. So see you at the Rala. Now we are at the Rala, and now we can actually technically play maps. But I'm actually gonna send one time before that. Let's do that. And let's go for Lunaris. You already know how to get Lunaris, so I think I'm gonna cut here when I'm making my way to Lunaris and Piatina. So uh, see, you see you at Lunaris Temple. And if something interesting ha happens on the way, I promise I will show it. But I am this close to level, so before I cut, 
Let's just get level and uh, get a pass skill point. There we go. So let's see, what do I want to take? We have all of that. We are starting to get in somewhere. We have that one, that's nice. Hmm, actually when it comes to resistance, I could take... Oh yeah, now I remember. We were this way. So now we have all the way we need to get to the life wheel here. And that's pretty much it for right now. So, uh, see you guys at Lunaris Temple. And there we go. We are almost at Payatia. <laughs> see if we can defeat this boss here and get the best quest reward in the entire game. Yeah, I need to do a little bit better on that. Still not doing good. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty good damage, actually. This level, at least. And we got the key. So now it's time to at least try ascending. But first, we're gonna get a massive, awesome quest reward. There we go. Hmm. We are on this way now, so we can at least take constitution and get a lot of life. That's a good amount of life. <laughs> now I am thinking... What do we have in our... To our disposal? I keep the belt. Actually, let's get rid of this old crap I have had on this character. Sell these old weapons I used before. Like that. And let's put in our currency here. Let's see if this is doing any good. No, it isn't. That's thinking. Maybe I should get a better belt, maybe. This belt is pretty good, but... Well, actually I, I keep it for now. Give good amount of damage. Gloves, I want something to... Uh, max out my resistance, and I think gloves... Our best choice. So let's ho head over to PV Trade and see if we can find any good gloves before we head into the labyrinth. <clears throat> now we are at PV Trade. So let's see if we can find any gloves. See, we want gloves. We want at least armor on them. I think 150 would be good. And max level uh, at least 64. I can I can have a 64 because I got a level soon. And we want life. We want life. No, not mana. Uh, misclick. There we go. Life at least 80. I think it's good. See what resistance are the best one for us. Uh, definitely fire. So fire, and if we can, some cold resistance. So let's add that to our gloves. See now, fire resistance, it's the most important one, fire here, at least 25 resist would be good, and some cold resist, at least they have some cold resist, and you can max out all of the resistance. Let's see what's happening. We find someone, and that's a really good price. Those gloves are actually really, really good, they actually give us damage, so that's definitely a taker. This one gives better resistance, but uh, rather have damage and resistance, so... Let's hope these guys uh, guy are responding. And both attack speed and flat physical damage. Well, I kind of like that. So, let's activate some leak stones. And let's hope, hope, hope that this guy responds. Finally, someone actually responded. I had to take another one, and these gloves have really, 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 really good armor on them, as you can see right there. And they cost 4 chaos, which are absolutely acceptable. Thank you, sir. That took a longer time, time than I expected. And these gloves will be better than the ones I have. Look at that armor roll right here. Let's see if we can actually increase the... Uh, the quality of this one, you get even more armor. Look at that armor roll, that's pretty awesome actually. 
Let's use those gloves and give me a lot more protection. Let's have our gems in here. And uh, let's actually put them here for now. So, we are now ready to go out in the world, or whatever you're gonna call it. Let's look at our resistance. All resistance except coal are maxed out. It should be good enough to ascend. So, let's see how the ascension will go. And by the way, look, look at my armor. I have 3000 armor, that's pretty acceptable. So, see you guys at the first encounter. Alright, we are at the first try. I have no idea what type of... Uh, well, uh, what type of version this will be. Hope it's not a hard one. Because I am low level. Right, that's not a hard one. That's pretty okay with those things. Right, Isar. Bring it on. Ooh, that dude did damage. That did hurt. I'm not gonna stand it up another time. So I'm gonna just use Whirling Blade for that. It's made for. That's the best way of surviving, it's actually not, yes, to not get hit by hard attacks. But I could survive that attack, but it did a lot of damage that hurt. It hurt a lot. So, let's see you guys at the second encounter. And now we are in the second encounter. So, I'm actually gonna level. So, uh, hmm. Right now, I think life is the most important thing I can get just for the boss fight, so I just gotta take this life out here. Give him a little bit more life, but that can be the difference between being one shot and surviving and uh, be able to finish the boss. So let's put that flask because I'm prepared with a granite flask if I need it. Oh, it's that version. Well, uh, what, what did hit me right there? Because I am. No idea what's hit me right here. Sorry if I'm not saying anything, I need to concentrate. <laughs> I need to shut these things down, or else I'm gonna take a ton of damage. I take that ton of damage anyway, but I shouldn't actually try to ascend this low level. Soon this, I soon defeated him. Let's deactivate this so I don't have to kill him later. What? What the ambition? That's a lot of enemies. I actually have a lot of health, these uh, things that shouldn't fire at me. I don't know what hit me that in the beginning and almost killed me, but it eh, was a lag or something, I don't really know. Well, let's hope we can do the last encounter. And now we were at the last trial, and look at this. Oh, this will be hard. 150 ping and they're gonna fight the boss. I'm not gonna wait for it to be better, Let, let's just do it. But now I have a really big chance of actually getting killed because of the uh, connection. Look at that 200 spike right there. I wanna fight him here. I'm not gonna get teleported. Get some damage to him. Not get hit by that. Come on, come on, be a bit longer. Come on. <laughs> yes, I did it. I want those treasure key. Well, actually, 
before I try to trade this treasure key because of my connection, let's ascend. Now we have a choice here. I can either go for the damage one, go for blood in the eye, a really powerful one. Can if I want go for outmash and outlast, but I, I personally not a fan, I'm not a big fan of this one, but it's a really good note, so don't get me wrong. And I can go for virtual to a tile combatant for uh, really good block chance against spells. This choice. I really wanted to take this one. It's actually a really fun note to have, and it's really powerful. Hmm. Or take block chance. I actually may take blood in the eye, actually. This decisions. Let's go for the damage one. I can always take this one later. I, I love Vestal Combat, but this time, let's go for the damage one. I want to damage things even harder. And now, let's see if we get some really good mods on our helmet. Dual uh, will or something that give me damage would be nice. Infernal blow, physical damage, granted extra 5 damage. Well, that would be a really good thing if I actually used Infernal Blow. I could use Infernal Blow, so that's that. Let's see if we can take the last key without getting like a million enemies. I don't want to fight them, because if something bad happens... Let's take that. Let's open another chest here. Do we get anything good? We get an Iron Ring, at least. But I'm pretty happy, actually, I managed to do it on this low level, actually. So that was a great success, and we have both more damage, we're more powerful than ever. And I think uh, I will wrap up the episode here because it gets too long, and in the next episode we are actually going to try out this character on some maps, some low level maps I have in this character. And uh, we are also probably going to make our way a little bit into Act 3, and at least, get the, at least try to make our way into Act 4, sorry. Let's sell some crap right there. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this episode. Thank you all for watching. And what am I doing right now? Well, I should stop. Did I put a chaos? I don't remember. But at least, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.